Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, people. It's 2022. Oh my god. But we are here. If you're new to this channel, my name is Zoe and I talk about books. And if you're not new, welcome back. I hope I can, can finally get back into editing because I filmed a ton and didn't edit anything because I had no motivation. Because this is a hobby and I have a return job that is hard right now. But that's not the thing that I want to talk about in this video. I want about to talk about all the books that I definitely want to read in 2022. So is this 20, 22 books um, you want to read in 2022 kind of thing? There are a few books on this list that are not even out yet. They are going to be released this year. but. I don't have this many books on my list to do an actual video about it, just with my anticipated releases, so I will talk about them in here. Also, it's it's okay, it's fine, I will definitely want to read them, so they are on this list. And because there are 22 books that I want to talk about, let's start, because it's a lot. So the first two books are releases that are coming out in the next three months and I'm very, really excited about So the first book that I want to, want to definitely read in 2022 is House of Sky and Breath. This is the second book of the Sir Sun City series by Sarah Jamas. I'm so excited to read it. I loved the first book. I think this was the first time that I'm enjoying a book from her really much. I love I love these Torn of Glass series from her, and I also love the Arcata series. But I can, when I could rank them, it would be on the first place, Southern City, then Torn of Glass, and then Arcata. And this is, um, this is a big, this is something big to say, because there's only the first book out of the series. So I'm really excited about that. It's coming out in February, I think. And I'm currently reading, I didn't start it, but I want to reread Southern City for Sarah Jemez this month. And this is going to be a read from Lucy's book club. <laughs> I will link down her channel down below. I think it's so good that she's doing this book club. And I knew this longer than you. <laughs> no. <laughs> just making me fun. But we're going to read in January Southern City and in the next month we're going to read House of Sky and Breath. And if you're hearing construction noise, this is my downstairs neighbor. He's moving out and he's doing this stuff. But I only have today and tomorrow a free day. So I'm going to need to film this now. And yeah, in every room is this noise. So we will enjoy my background that I originally have and ignore the inconsequential noise. <laughs> then the second book is The War of Two Queens by Jennifer Armstrong. So despite the fact that I didn't like the third book, The Crown of Gilded Bones, I didn't like it. This was my least favorite book of the series so far, but I'm excited to read the next book because I think the problem with that book was that the original was planned that the um, from Blood and Ash series is only a tree trilogy and now she makes a six book series out of it. And I think this was the problem of the Crown of the Bones, that it was supposed to be the last book and it was not. So it felt kind of long and not mm, not that good like the other ones. So I'm really excited to see what she does in The War of Two Queens. And I think this is going to be better than the third one, just for the fact that this now has more thought behind it. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to read that. And for the third book that I want to read, this is also by Jennifer and Armtrod. And I need to look up how this book called again, because I forgot it. I, I know just the series title, and this is um, Flash and Fire. This is a prequel for A Shadow and the Ember. A Shadow and the Ember want to read, also from her. I pre-ordered it and I have this now since October and I didn't get to it so far, but I really want to read this. I think this second book is coming also out this year, but I don't know it, so this, this is why 
it's not on the list because I have not yet first one yet. But this is the third book. I have Shadow in the Animal. <laughs> yeah, Shadow in the Animal. Then the fourth book is something I'm going to read this month and finally I have a book from it. And this is She Who Became Sun by Shelby Parker, Shelley Parker Shan. And I'm so excited to read this. I have this on my mind since it was out. But I was so afraid to read it because everyone loves it and this was so hyped. And then I heard some bad reviews and then I was like, nah. I just push this away and maybe, maybe I'll read this someday, but not now. And now it's the book club pick from Mel Reads channel. And I'm so excited to read this now. And this is praised as a mix from Mulan and The Song of Achilles. And I love Mulan. I didn't like The Song of Achilles. So I think I have mixed feelings about this now. But I really want to read this. I think this is going to be a three star for me. So I just keep my hopes down. So I'm not that disappointed when reading this. But I... I hope this is a surprise for me and I'm so excited to read this this month. The next book is Payback's a Witch and by Lana Harper and I don't know nothing about this book. I just saw everyone reading this and everyone kind of enjoyed this. So I put this on my wish list and my sweet friend Laura bought this me for Christmas and I'm so excited now that I definitely want to read this this year and I am I'm so excited. I think the, the cover is cute and from that what I'm reading. I'm so, this ring light is so bright. I just, it just can't read this anymore because I just see the, the ring in my eyes. But <laughs> I need this because it's so dark in here. So I can cannot read this at the moment, but I'm excited to read this this year. Then the next book is a book that's also not out yet, but this is Book Lover by Emily Henry. And I didn't, when someone tell me that I'm excited for a release, from a romance author last year, I would love because I, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. But I read Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation, and I'm, I love the books. Okay, there, mm, I love them. So I'm really excited for Book Lover. I think this is out in June, so like in the mid of this year. I'm excited to read that. I didn't pre-order this yet, but I will do that. So I have it. And I'm excited. Emily Henry has my heart and I don't know nothing about this book and this is also great because the less I know about a book the better is it for me. So I can go into it with no expectations in my mind. The next book the next book is Radio Silence by Alice Osman. I love the Hot Supper series from Ali by Alice Osman. so I definitely want to read more of the author um, of the author's work and so I also put Radio Silence on my wish list and Laura bought it for me to Christmas and I was so excited to read this. I also don't know, know nothing about this book but like I said the less that I know this, the more I'm excited to read this and I'm really excited to read this like and I didn't like the cover I wish there was the um, cover like for Loveless the same cover style but it's okay. Then the next book is Anxious People by Frederick, Frederick, Frederick Beckman. Why do I have so many troubles to speak of Frederick? I have a cousin that called like that. <laughs> but this is uh, my secret Santa gift from the Citadel. I am also the, the, the patron from Mel Reads and I'm so excited to read this. This was also on my wish list. And I don't know, I also don't know nothing about this book. I heard mixed reviews about that and I think it, uh, just the, the title of the book speaks to me, anxious people, like I'm an anxious bitch, so maybe it is, I will learn something from this book. I don't know, maybe I just think this is stupid, like some people do. It will, we will see this year, but I want to read this really. And this is also short, so not that nothing can be stopped from reading a big book, but I also enjoy short books, <laughs> so I'm excited to read this and hope you kind of hope you enjoy this video because I'm just saying like this is what I want to read and I don't know nothing about this book, so let's get into it. <laughs> the next book on my list is These Witches Don't Burn. This is the giveaway 
I want to give away from Loni Losi's channel. Like I mentioned before, but it's Lawson City. She has no book, book club. We love that. This is... This is no ad, but <laughs> I love her. She just sent me stuff that I can get into Germany. So she sent me this. Lucy, you're the best. And I wouldn't have give away for, I think it was 500 followers on Instagram. Where's the... The paper is gone. Did I get this from her? I'm I'm sure that I get this from Lucy. But the, the paper from Amazon is gone where it stands. It was there. I knew that. And I think the construction noise got so much louder. This this video is so chaotic. Like basically this is me. Welcome to this chaotic life. But this is I think kind of funny. I noticed an upside of it. Like a good booktuber should know the synopsis of the books that they want to read. But I think this is so funny. This is about um, Hannah. She's a witch. And there is something happened in the city where she lives. And she has her ex-girlfriend. I think, I don't know. I can't remember if she's also a witch. But they need to work together. And also the her new girlfriend. And they treat, try to solve the problem that is around the city. And I, I can see the problems that are coming with it. And I think this is so hilarious. I don't really want to read it. And I just, this length here. And I don't know. I don't know why I didn't read this so far. But I really want to read this this year. Um, I don't know. Maybe this month. I'm, this month I'm a mood reader. Wow. But yeah, this is on my list. Then what I also have on this list is Woman Done All You Pretty. I have this, I bought this after after our appointment and after that I just want to push myself and give myself a little bit of serotonin and I saw this and I think I'm a feminist so why why don't why do I don't want to read this? So I bought that to read this and since then it's sitting on my shelf like everything else that I bought. <laughs> this I read my stuff, okay? But it took some time. And maybe I just bought this because there's a Leo print in it and I love Leo prints. My favorite scrunchie is in Leo print. But yeah, we I really want to read this. I heard nothing about it yet. And it's from Florence Given. And I just try to read all the feminist books that I can see and catch. And yeah, I will check with you how I like this. And I think it's also pretty. I mean she didn't own me pretty, but she is pretty. I love the color scheme. And when this is the author, she's also pretty. So the next one is Felix Ever After. I heard so many things about this and I really want to read this. It is about a story from a black, queer, transgender boy. And I just want to read this because of the fact that it's about this topic. And I heard so many good things about it, so I think I will enjoy this. I really hope that I enjoyed this. And it was a gift from for Christmas from Marvin from the Citadel. And thank you for that. I love it. And it's so pretty. Oh, all the books that I have is so pretty. <laughs> the next book that I want to read is Percy, the first book of the Percy Jackson series. Um, it's called The Thieves of Olymp. The Lightning Thief. The Lightning Thief by Rick Royden. And when I tell you, I never read the Percy Jackson series. I don't know why, but back then, when I first experienced reading, I never heard from Percy Jackson. Since that, I watched the movie, and I, I, I need to say I liked the movie. I think the movie was kind of fun. And also like the second one, I was so mad that they never continued to do the movies. So I never read the book, so I don't know what everyone means but that. Movies are like shit and the books are better. But I I believe you because the books are always better than you <laughs> than the movie. It's a, it's a written rule that the books are always better than the movie. But I'm really excited to read this. I got the full case for Christmas. And also all the 
all the books that I have on my 2022 want to read list is um, our gifts. So thank you for that, for sending me this this book I got from Paulina from Frost the Hearted. I will link everyone down below who sent me this stuff. So I'm so excited to read it for the first time and I hope I like it. My fear for that is that I might not enjoy this like everyone else do because I reading this for the first time as an adult. So I think I will look I think I would enjoy this definitely more when I was a child. But let's see let's see what the series does for me and I'm I'm excited to read this. I have the full crazy. I just can binge read them. So this is fun. So the next book I have on the list is um, The Book of Two Ways by Jordi Pickled, Pickled. And I just picked this up, this book, because it's so tiny and cute. And I love the colors on the book. The font is uh, really tiny, but I can, I can do it. And I think this was um, about a story from a woman. It's about Dawn and she helps people to prepare for a good death. And when she finds herself in the desideration, her life just goes, flashes before her eyes. Like you heard people saying this, that the life flashed before her eyes. And she finds seeing her life that she could have and she didn't have. And I think this is a, a kind of cute, cute and sad story. And I really want to um, read this. Also there were pictures in it. And I think this is so funny. I'm excited to read this and it's cute. Also on this list is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I never read something from Stephanie Garber before. I think the cover is ugly. But I heard so many people saying good things about it, so bought it. And, and I think the deep synopsis was kind of fun to read. So I'm excited to get into this story. And if you read this book, let me please know how you like it. Because um, I... I saw the fairy loot edition. Was this the fairy loot edition or was it from Illumi Crate with this pink kind of cover? I love the pink cover more than I did this one, but um, I'm excited to read this. It's sitting on my shelf and it wants to be read by me. The next thing that I have on this list is why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. Finally, I can tell the title. If you watched my course first and only course it on vlog, I'm so sorry. Like I said, I didn't edit anything. I couldn't read the title because the um, to white people is um, like this kind of different texture and face and I couldn't, I couldn't see the title. It was just a big gap for me. But <laughs> inside it, it says um, the right title. And I heard so many good things about this um, from different people on booktube, uh, only on booktube when I'm honest. So when I saw this, I um, I thought, okay, I want to go into this. The next thing, like the same for the feminist book, I wanted to read up more about race and racism. And this is, I think, the best opportunity for that. I just wanted to read this for the Corsa Town, but I couldn't get into it. Last month, I read a feminist book instead, but I will definitely read this and I'm so excited to read this. So let's see how this this year goes. Tori Ariot's Reimbreaker sitting on my shelf and want to read by me. I just thought about this to read this in December for the Cosaton for an anticipated read, but I read something different instead. This is this is a different video. But I'm so excited to read this. I love the Red Queen series by her. And the most thing that I liked for the Red Queen series is that it takes longer for the story to build up and there's more world building in it and I really liked it so I hope when I read Windbreaker it's going to be the same thing. I've heard um, stuff from Victoria Areas by herself from which book series it was inspired and it was inspired by Lord of the Rings. I, When I'm honest I only watched the Lord of the Rings movies and I was not that big of a fan of it. It was okay but I was, it was okay. But I really hope that I can get into the story and the second book that is also on my want to read list for this year is Blade Breaker. This is the second one of the Greenbreaker series that is coming out in June and I'm so sad that I can't get the special edition that is signed because I'm living in Germany and not in the US or UK or Canada. <laughs> 
my heart is broken. But um, thank you for Lucy um, for sending me um, the to me the hardcover edition of it. I just bought the hardcover edition because the world map inside is colored and not in my paperback. And it's black and white, and you can't see shit because Victoria Ariad um, did a really great world map. I don't know yet how helpful the world map is, but we will see this year. And I think I'm going to plan this to read in May, so I can get into the um, Blade Breaker in June. Or maybe it is in June and then Blade Breaker, Blade Breaker directly after it. And this Blade Breaker, Blade Breaker is going to be my birthday present to myself, because it just will be released one day before my birthday. And this is amazing. I love it. And I didn't read in Reddit, and I'm so excited for the release of the next one. So please, can you please don't disappoint me? Thank you. Thank you. My heart will be broken if this book disappoints me. <laughs> then I want to read finally a book that everyone talks about on BookTube, on BookTok, Bookstagram, in private life. Everyone talks about this book. And this is The Invisible Life of Eddie Lowe. I have the special edition because I'm extra and I didn't read read the book yet and I have it. I also have a different edition of it because this book is so beautiful and I want to annotate it that I, I think I couldn't bring this over my heart to annotate this one. But <laughs> this has art in it so I'm so excited to um, actually read this. And I think I didn't want to read this first because it was so hyped that I was scared of it, that I'm hating this. And this is something that I experienced often in the last couple of months, that I read books that are really hyped and then I just feel like disappointed afterwards. But I really want to get into it because I want to know. I, I actually know what happened in the story. I know the storyline, I know the plot and stuff like that because I um, accidentally watched a video about it. I was actually a um, book a month right up and I didn't um, understand that there's a spoiler coming till, the, till it was too late. So I know what's about it. And, but I'm, I want to read it now. Now I'm excited. After seeing the special edition of it, I'm really extra. I mean, it's so cute. This looks like um, the the UK special editions for the classic books, like for Emma and Pride and Prejudice. This, you know which, which books I mean? It, it looks like the same. Talking about classics, I want to read Sense and, Sense and Sensibility by Jen Austen and ignore the sticker of it. I got this cheaper. It was <laughs> insane and there's still a sticker on it. Uh, it peeled off easily. That's great. So this is the book. It's so cute. This is the German edition of it. And it has illustrations in it. And this is really cute. So this is, I think, the fourth book that I will be reading from Jane Austen. And so far I read Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and then Mansfield Park. And so far I like Emma the most, then Pride and Prejudice, and then Mansfield Park. Mansfield Park was kind of a trash. But I'm so excited to read this. And I really love the work of Jane Austen. I think she has such a funny and hilarious and modern way to write her books. And when you, you, I don't know if it just was the audiobook version of the books that I read, but they made, made the audio versions in a modern way. And this was so funny. And I, you didn't really notice that Jane Austen was born in the year that she was born while reading the books. It, this is, this is really great. And I love her. I love Jane Austen. If I could meet one person in real life, like one famous person that I like or fictional, I would want to read, meet Jane Austen and just talk to her and see how she is in person. Loveless by Alice Osman. Also a book that I saw so many people talking about great things about this book. And after re reading the Heartstopper series, I love the Heartstopper series. I really want to read Love is by Alice Osman. And I think this was about the sister from... It's about Georgia. 
And I think she was the sister from um, Charlie. No, Nick. I think she was the sister from uh, from Nick, but I'm not sure anymore. And I'm really excited to read this and yeah, I'm excited. How often can I say excited? So one book I really want to read this year is also something from Jennifer Landroth and I just realized that I have a lot of books from her on my 2022 books that I want to read. But this is the, okay, how does it call it again in, in English? There's a, this is called The Brightest Night. This is the third book of the origin series from her. And in, in Germany it's called Red Intention. I don't know why they changed the English title to a different English title. This makes no fucking sense to me. But I really want to read this. I bought this this year, um, last year, 2021 because I thought this was the last book of the series. There's still one book left. So I hope that maybe this year we get finally a release date for the last book of the series. And so I will push this book through the year and when she released finally the date of the last book, then I will read this. So this is maybe a book that I will not get into it this year. Because I've seen, you know, why reading a book and I'm waiting, I don't know, three years for the next book. It makes no sense for me. And also waiting for the last book a long time now. This was published. Okay, this was published 2020. No, this was published two years ago. 2020 is two years ago now. So, Jennifer, can you please finish the series? It's just one book. Thank you. And last but not least, so this is my 2020, 22, 2020. I don't know how to get this. I'm I'm not German, okay? 2020th, 2020th book. I just count this as one book. Technically, it's two books, but also not. You will see in a second. Because ooh, I want to read the second book of the Stormlight Ash 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 <laughs> I just can't tell the title, <laughs> the series name by Brendan Sanderson and the first book was The Way of Kings. It's 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 this chunky boy. And I couldn't read this in English to be honest. This was it was too hard for me. So I switched to the German audiobook. And the audiobook was great. I love it. Brendan Sanderson. I don't know what this man has is in his writing style, but he grabbed me. It, this book was fucking long and Every single page, every single chapter that I heard, I was so interested. There was no boring scenes in it at all. So, I bought the second book. And this, this is the second book. So they split it into two in Germany to make more money of it. This is sad, but I don't care. I don't care, really. I don't care. And I got this used, so there's white sticker still on it. I need to remove that, but I will not do this now and so um, I think it's kind of helpful that they have almost the same title cover page but they don't have it so this is this is the first part of the book um, how is the second book called Words of Radiance so this is the first half of the book and this is the second one so I love it <laughs> this is Okay, I kind of see it why they um, why they split it into two. But keep imagine having a book, one book that is like this. <laughs> There's no, I need two hands to hold this book. So I, it's okay that they split it, but you could kind of at least make it cheaper than I think if one book. I mean the first half has 974 pages. What the hell? This, this is... Wait, does the 
Das, 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 I'm so excited to read this now. So, this was, this was a lot. This was a lot to talk about. This video is so fucking long. And I'm not excited to edit this all. <laughs> but I'm really excited to read all of the books. Like I said, for this month, I don't really have a TBR. So maybe I read one of two books, but I'm kinda, I'm kinda in a slump right now. And this is just for the fact that I um, have a stressful, stressful December. Not with reading. But with, with life that I don't really want to read at the moment. I read at the moment, but not as fast and not, not that much books at the same time that I normally do. Which is also totally fine, because I did too much and one go with... I don't, know, don't talk about the goals in here. There's a separate video that I'm filming right after it. So you will see it in that. But yeah, I hope I hope you had an amazing start into a new year. Let's um, let write down in comments down below what you did on New Year's Eve. I'm really interested to know because I slept because I needed to work on the next day at 6 a.m. So I, I wasn't awake on midnight. Actually, I was because of the the noises that <laughs> was on midnight. But I I I was in my bed. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really excited to see. What, to read about you all did, what books you want to read in 2022. If you also want books of, of this deck that I showed you, write me a comment, slide into my DMs and we can read it together. Because I realize that it's much more fun to buddy read books with different people. So I'm excited to see what you think of all of these books and if you want to read this with me. And yeah, this was it. This was the video for this day. <laughs> Let's see when I upload this. <laughs> don't, I don't stress myself. I have a hard life, okay? So I love you all. My social media is down in the comments, in the description down below, if you want to follow me there. If you want to follow this channel, you don't miss a video. I would love to have you here. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye.